welcome back to another EQ Planes video, and today we will be doing a lot of unboxings with the Beluga XL, the Dreamliner, A330s, and more. Enjoy the video. We'll be doing the Beluga XL, and it's made by Airbus, as you can kind of see in the big lettering. And this model is made by JC Wing. Uh, first, we'll just take a quick look. It says Airbus Blue on the side, and it has like a mouth-like kind of cockpit because it's supposed to look like a beluga. It even has a little eye. And as you can tell, it has A330 engines. It has the four gear on the bottom here. It's the tail. It has the ruddering system. And uh, something I wanna point out is on the top here you can take off the top and put wings here uh here's the top so you can like fit a finger in here something so that's something i found this cool. plane is a gift although i think it would have been worth the money and i probably would have bought it anyways so yeah on to our next model so we have the 747 dreamlifter made actually by boeing too so Pretty cool. Let's open it up. Let's open it. Oh, there's something falling out of the bottom. So now let's look at the Dreamlifter. It has blue tail and blue engines. It's uh, kind of like a 747 front here. It has like no special design to be anything like the beluga supposed to be well beluga this one has way more gear as you can tell and this one doesn't open from the front or it doesn't have any effects that can open although it opens from the back in real life yeah here's the aircraft overall this plane's pretty good we got an everett in the gift shop right by the factory we bought it with our money, it wasn't a gift or anything, but yeah, overall, it's a good purchase. We have our 777-300ER, a scale 1400 Air France, made by Gemini uh, Jet. Quick peek inside, looks pretty good. Uh, let's just find the side here. our Air France as you can see up here Air France Sky Team cockpit the engine so another thing I like to point out is the gear tilt see it tilted one of the gear here the underside and all the way back here get a nice shot of the tail yep so it's a pretty nice model I like the gear tilt, but most planes have it. It's a pretty normal Gemini jet compared to other ones, but I like the design. What I say is, this was a good purchase. Now on to our next See, these pieces are starting to fall out, but let's unbox. And this side's already open. This is not Willy package. Oh my god, the plane's going to fall off. Uh, by the way, this is not uh, metal. This is plastic. So the 737 Max, we all know, is having a problem with MCAS, but right now it's grounded. But here's the winglets on the side here. It says Max. Uh, here's the engines, cockpit. Here's the underside of the plane, the gear. And I really like the tail design. So here's the tail. And yeah. Here's the 737 MAX. Feel free to pause the video and take a conclusion. The 737 MAX I think was a good purchase. It was half off and it was uh, $10 originally, 20 So on to our next aircraft. What we'll be doing is the 7878 Boeing Livery. This was also a Lupa model, so uh, let's start the un- uh, Here's the stands and stuff, the pretty stand. But let's find that little edge here. First thing I'm going to point out is actually about the model, something that Gemini Jets and JC Wings do not have. 
And that is this wing shape. You can see it's more bird-like than a Gemini jet would have it. They're a little more straight. I'll have to show you an example later from the back angle of the plane. There's the riffles on the engines, just the engine itself. It's this Boeing right here, here's the cockpit. Let's get up, up. there we go. That's a nice shot. And here's the tail, 7878, Dreamliner. So, conclusion, yeah. I think this was a fairly good purchase here. So, yeah, on to the next model. Here, next up, we have the Air Transat A33200 from Gemini Jets. Let's unbox it. with the Air Transat A330. It's a pretty good model. I like the Air Transat leather lettering on the bottom and I like the livery in general. One of the engines is a little loose. I notice it kind of wobbles a bit or the other one doesn't. But that's one of the things I've noticed with Gemini Jets is lately is a lot of them come with small defects or broken. And yeah, we bought this one from Eurofia Cafe, which is probably the best spot to buy Gemini Jets if you live in the city of Calgary. So yeah, let's move on to the we next have one. We have an A330-300 Special Livery Air. Oh. There we go. Oh god. This is a little stiff. It's on the wrong side. Yes, it is. There it is. See, this has the A330 styled engine with the it's a little smaller at the back. This one has no gear tilt. Air Asia has the little special livery on it. Two up front, with the cockpit. Yep, so it's another pretty normal Gemini Jet, except for the special livery, but I say this is probably most worth it for being an A330 Air Asia because um, we don't have any other one, and for it to be in a special livery, especially this one, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I say this was a good this purchase. This is a way special and cooler plane in the video, because it is a Malev, they went bankrupt in 2012, and it is a Russian plane, the one with the, the two engines on each side at the back, so let's uh, open it up, and by the way, it was made by Gemini Jets, so here we go. Yeah. On the side once again. Just for an example, the two engines on each side at the back. The Malev, it's the cockpit design. It is no ordinary cockpit. Here's our primary here. And uh, we have our vertical stabilizers on top. And once again, here's the dual engines we kind of have as you can see right here a little spike coming out of the tail not like a rod though just like something that's built in not like an airspeed measure like that the 707 had so yeah i really really like this plane you can see now right here and by the way the wings are quite far back and it says ha li so yeah i really love this plane here's the bottom yeah. Yeah, so in conclusion, I probably would have paid like a hundred dollars for this plane. So, yeah, it was a good purchase. Russian airplane. And yeah, on to our next. Now our final plane is a Boeing 7879 Korean Air. Well, there's no picture of it. Well, there is on the side. This is a Phoenix model. So, yeah, let's open it up. to point out is this uh i said that i'd show when i was doing the lupa model on the dreamliner that gemini jets didn't really have that bird wing design so here's what i mean it's kind of flat but anyways here's a korean air it says engines i like to call it the pepsi logo it's the wing 
all the seats and stuff, kind of like basically what's on an airliner. Here's the tail and the South Korean flag. It's kind of blurry, but yeah, that's uh, that's really Thanks it for watching EQ Planes, and I hope to see you back next time.